It's Medicosis Perfectionals once again continuing our series about bleeding and coagulation disorders. In the previous videos, we have started talking about fibrinolysis. In the last video, we talked about streptokinase. Today, we'll talk about urokinase type plasminogen activator, also known as urokinase or UPA. With that being said, now let's get started. Hemostasis has many steps and we are still stuck in step number 4. Urokinase and TPA will activate plasminogen into plasmin. Plasmin will go back and activate TPA and urokinase to form more plasmin. Plasminogen into plasmin via thrombin, TPA, urokinase 11, 12 and colecrine. So urokinase is here, it activates plasminogen into plasmin. Then plasmin will degrade fibrin to fibrin degradation products and the stabilized fibrin into the D-dimer. 50 hematology cases are waiting for you when you go to patreon.com forward slash medicosis. They cover topics like bleeding and coagulation disorders. Here's the whole story, intrinsic and extrinsic pathway. Activating prothrombin to thrombin, fibrin to fibrin, plasminogen gets incorporated into the fibrin fibers. TPN, urokinase, activate plasminogen into plasmin, this takes days. Fibrin is degraded into degradation products, fibrin into degradation products, and the, the stabilized fibrin into freaking D-dimer. Let's use the KISS principle and keep it simple stupid. We have two types of plasminogen activators, TPA and UPA. The tissue type plasminogen activator, which comes from the tissue, precisely the injured endothelium, and urokinase type plasminogen activator, which was first isolated from human urine, it can also be produced from cultured fetal kidney cells. It's also present in the blood and in many extracellular matrix location. This is very important. Pay attention, leave the phone. Two types of plasminogen. Plasminogen incorporated into the fibrin and the freely circulating plasminogen. When you activate this, you get localized fibrinolysis, which is desirable. When you activate this, you get systemic lytic state. You get fibrinolysis all over the body. This increases the risk of bleeding. This is not a good thing. Therefore, TPA drugs are divided into two groups. The superior grade group of altaplase, ritaplase, synectoplase. This group, of course, is going to be more expensive. No kidding. And the non-fibrin-specific plasminogen activators, such as the garbage, streptokinase, the trash, anistriplase, and the ugly urokinase. Urokinase type plasminogen activator or UPA present in the urine. Yep, and blood. It better be in the blood because fibrinolysis occurs in the blood. Hello, it's a serum protease. It better damn well be protease because we plasminogen is a protein. In order to break down this protein, you need a freaking protease. PAI1 and PAI2. Plasminogen activator inhibitor 1 and 2 are gonna inhibit this urokinase. Some god is gonna come after you. Urokinase activates both the fibrin specific plasminogen and the non specific plasminogen. So, this will lead to systemic lytic state, increasing your risk of bleeding, which is not fun. Please don't forget radical prostatectomy, surgical removal of the prostate gland releases urokinase. Remember, urokinase is related to the urine, so prostate is very close. Increase fibrinolysis because you have lots of UPA and this UPA is gonna activate plasminogen into plasmin. Plasmin increases fibrinolysis and you will bleed. When we talked about TPA, TPA was administered through two routes, locally through a catheter or systemically through intravenous injection. Not anymore. Urokinase, we tried so many times to administer it systemically, but we failed until this moment. The only method of administrating this crazy urokinase is through the catheter-directed chemical thrombolysis of the clot. Hashtag poke it, baby. So if this is your vein and this is a DVT, a clot, please introduce a catheter and cover it with a chemical, in this case urokinase, and this urokinase, it works like TPA. It will convert plasminogen into the active plasmin and plasmin is gonna destroy the clot. Clinical uses of urokinase. Please think like a plumber. Catheter-directed thrombolysis. Okay, so let's say the patient has DVT, introduce a catheter, cover it with urokinase, and poke the clot. 
Restoration of flow and the IV catheter. Now we're talking in vitro. We have something outside of the patient. You know the catheter, they get clogged all of the time. 25% of catheters get blocked by blood clots and fiber, etc. So to clear the catheter and make it brand new, poke the cath. Again, introduce urokinase into the catheter. This is called catheter clearance. Not to be confused with JC Penny clearance. Uh, this corporation is gonna go out of business soon. Life is rough, man. So we use urokinase for DVTPE, peripheral arterial disease, and myocardial infarction. In other words, poke the clot. So poke the patient, poke the cath. Basically, urokinase is just like the drain cleaner that you pour down the kitchen sink to unclog it. Remember, I told you to think like a plumber. This guy works for UPA, not to be confused with UPS. Now, here's a little pearl for you. Urokinase advantages over TPA. Here you have the TPA, tissue plasminogen activator. Break down every single dead gum clot in your body, the useful and the harmful, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, such as hemostasis after trauma, you injured your finger, you need a clot, so that's good, that's useful. TPA, not under my watch, I destroy everything, and it destroyed the harmful. Thank you, TPA, such as MI and DVT. UPA, somewhat better, break down only the harmful clots, MI and DVT. UPA is not incorporated in the fiber. Remember the ternary complex, plasminogen and TPN fibrin, TPA, not UPA. But again, don't forget, alteplase will kick urokinase's butt. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Instagram, get my notes, get my cases by going to patreon.com forward slash medicosis to receive my bloody Dropbox links. Thank you for watching. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.